In this tutorial video, I'm going to show you how you can upgrade to the latest version of Windows 11 on any computer. And it doesn't matter if your computer supports Windows 11 or not. It'll work on both supported PCs and unsupported PCs. And you can follow this guide if you're currently using Windows 10 or any of the older versions of Windows 11. So let's get started. The very first thing that you need to do is right click on your start button and then click on disk management. And that's going to open this disk management window here. Next, click on action then create VHD. Next, click on browse. Then you can just browse to your C drive. And then here you can create a new folder called VHD. Just select it, then click on open, and then also give it a file name. Just call this a VHD and then click on save. Then for the virtual hard disk size, just change this from MB to GB and then make this 16. So it's 16 gigabytes and the rest of these settings you can just leave on their defaults, then click on OK. Then you should see another disk which is not initialized yet. So go ahead and click on this disk, then right click on it and click on initialize disk. Then make sure GPT is selected, click on OK. Once that's done, select this block of unallocated space, right click on it, click on new simple volume, click on next, click on next, just click on next again. And for the volume label, you can just call this VUSB for a virtual USB, then click on next and click on finish. And then it's going to create that virtual drive. Then you can close disk management. And if you open your file explorer and go to this PC, you should have this virtual USB drive here which should be 16 gigs in size. Next, you can open your browser and then do a Google search for Rufus. You should get the official Rufus webpage result, then just go ahead and click on it to open it. And once you're on the page, just scroll down until you find the download section. And then you need to download either the 64-bit or 32-bit standard versions of Rufus. Don't download the portable version, only download the standard version. So I'm gonna download the standard version here then click on open file, click yes on the updates. And then once Rufus is open on your computer, it should already detect the virtual USB drive by default. But if it doesn't, just click on this drop down menu and then select your virtual USB drive that you created earlier. Next, you want to click on this little arrow next to select, and then you want to click on download. Once you've done that, you need to click on this download button. Then this window should pop up where you can download an ISO image file, leave Windows 11 selected, then click on continue, leave the latest release selected, then click on continue. Next, leave the default edition selected, then click on continue. And then for the language, before you make a selection here, you need to figure out what language you currently have installed on the computer that you want to upgrade to Windows 11. Do a search for PowerShell on your computer and then run PowerShell as administrator. Then once you have it open, you need to run the following command, which is get dash win system locale then press enter and then you'll see which language you currently have installed on your system. So I've got English United States like it says here. So with that info in mind for the language, I'm not going to select English International. I'm going to select English United States. And this is very important or else you won't be able to keep all of your files and apps when you upgrade to Windows 11. So once you've got that, click on continue. And then next, you can only have 64 bits selected anyway. So you can just leave that on the default and then you can click on download. Then you'll be prompted where you want to save the ISO file. You can save it anywhere on your computer, but I'm just going to save it in the downloads folder. Then click on save and then it's going to download the ISO file. So once the ISO file has finished downloading, it should be automatically selected here under boot selection. And all of these other settings you can just leave on their defaults. But you could change this volume label to something like Win11 for Windows 11. Then you can just click on start. Now here comes the important part. And to keep things simple, just make sure all of these boxes here are selected. And once you've selected all of them here, you can just click on OK. Then you can click on OK again. And it's then going to start writing the Windows 11 installation files to our virtual USB drive. Once it's finished, the status is going to turn to ready. Then you can close Rufus. And now you can open the file explorer on your computer, then click on this PC. And then you're going to have this Win11 drive here under devices and drives. You can double click on the Win11 drive and then you can double click on this setup file here. If you get a prompt, just click on yes. And that's going to launch the Windows 11 installation wizard. From here, you can click on change how setup downloads updates. Then you can click on not right now and then you can click on next. 
Click on accept to accept the terms and then you'll be able to install Windows 11 and then you can keep your personal files and apps if you've selected the correct language or else you can click on change what to keep and then you can also choose either one of these settings where you can only keep your personal files or you can keep nothing which will delete everything. But I always recommend that you keep your personal files and apps and then click on next. Then you'll be taken back to this screen and then you can just click on install and that's going to start upgrading your windows 10 or your older version of windows 11 to the latest version of windows 11 which at the time of this video is 23h2 Once the upgrade is finished, you'll be taken to your Windows 11 desktop. And if you open the file explorer and you go to this PC, you shouldn't have a virtual hard disk here anymore, meaning you won't have that virtual USB drive listed here anymore. But you can click on your local disk C where you created it and you should still have the VHD folder. You can just select that, then you can delete it and then click on yes. And once you've done that, you can also go to your downloads folder where Rufus and the ISO file was saved. And then you can also just delete those two and then click on yes. And they should be permanently deleted from your system. And this is just going to help you free up some space because you won't need those files anymore. Now, if for some reason you want to go back to Windows 10 or to the previous version of Windows 11 that you were using before, you can just click on the start button, then click on settings. Then you can go to Windows Update. Inside of here, you can click on advanced options, and then you can click on recovery, and then you'll have this option to go back. If the version isn't working for you, you can try going back to Windows 10 or the previous version of Windows 11 that you were using, and you can just click on go back to initiate this process. But this option will only be available for a few days after you upgrade to Windows 11. So if you're not happy, don't wait, just go back as soon as possible. But with that being said, I hope this video was of value to you. Please like the video and I'll talk to you guys soon.